Hello everybody, it's Tech Tips to here and today with the RetroPie 3.0 release just around the corner, I'll be covering the steps you need to take to have a safe and successful upgrade without the worry that could come along with it. If you cannot wait, all of the things covered in this video can be done right now. Here is an overview of what I will be covering and keep in mind, backing up is optional but recommended and you can either go with upgrading your current installation or do a fresh install. As always, click any of these steps to jump straight to that part of the video, but if not, let's jump straight to backing up our system. First up is a full SD backup which will give us a complete image of our RetroPie setup. Safely shut down your Pi and then remove the SD card and connect it to your PC. Take note of the drive that your SD card has been detected as because we will need this soon. We'll be using Win32 Disk Imager once again, so open this up. Make sure the correct drive is selected and then click the folder icon and select the save location of your image. Once there we'll also need to type the name of our backup image. So type anything handy you will remember and then at the end put .img just like I have done. Click open and we are good to go. Simply hit read and our image will be created on our hard drive. Do note that the image will be the same size as your SD card so make sure you have enough space available. Your read time will take longer than this did, since I sped it up substantially. But once done, your image will be safely stored on your hard drive and you can rewrite it to your SD card to restore your complete RetroPie setup, including ROMs and settings at any time. Now that is complete, let's look at doing a partial backup using WinSCP. Open up WinSCP and connect to your Pi. Then create a backup folder for your files. I've just created one on my desktop for easy access. Now all we need to do is copy across the files and folders we want to keep using a simple drag and drop like I am doing on screen. Be careful backing up your ROM folder as this could take a while, but it also contains your save games so it may be important to you. Now continue to do this for everything you want to keep. Here is a suggestion of files and folders I think you should back up, but there may be more or less. Work through your folders and think about the changes you have made to your Pi. This will help you determine exactly what you want to keep. Once you've done here, we've finished our backup. Now it's time to load up our Pi again, connect our keyboard and upgrade our RetroPie. Now the first method of upgrade I'm going to show you is a binary update. The advantages to this are you do not lose any of your configuration files, ROMs or settings. The downside is that once you're upgraded, you may have some old folders and files left over which will make your directory structure messy but will not cause any harm. This method also requires an internet connection, so make sure your Pi is set up for that. Now let's update. Either press F4 from Emulation Station or connect to your Pi using PuTTY. We'll use the following commands to start RetroPie Setup, and once in, we want to go down to Option U, Update RetroPie Setup Script. Once this is done, we need to restart our script, so press right on your keyboard to select Cancel and press Enter. Back at the terminal, simply hit the up arrow to bring up your last typed command, and hit enter to open setup. It will probably have downloaded a few files at this stage, so let it complete that. Once we are back in the menu, simply select option 1, binaries based installation, and patiently wait for your RetroPie update. This can take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour depending how fast your internet connection is, so let it do its thing and check back on it occasionally. Once it is done, we are complete. Take note of the messages it does display upon completion and if any of them apply to you, follow the instructions. Simply select Reboot and you will be back in Emulation Station with an updated version of RetroPie. You can do these steps at any time and if there is an update available, you will receive it to your Pi. Our last method of update is the image based installation. And this is done exactly like we did for RetroPie 2.6. It will give us a fresh install and we'll have to configure all our settings like we did originally. I won't cover this in detail as you are experts on this now, but simply head over to the Pet Rock blog website, download the latest version that matches your Pi, and flash it with Win32 Disk Imager. Easy peasy. So that completes our update. You can now enjoy all the great features of RetroPie 3.0. I hope you did find this tutorial helpful, and if you did, please hit like and leave me a comment below. As always, thanks again for watching and see you soon.